channel. For today's video, I'm going to be flipping through my December Daily 2020 foundation pages. So I know I'm posting this a little late, but I hope you find some page inspiration from my book. Um, I do have about 20 pages or so done. Well, not done, but <laughs> the idea for them to be executed in here, which I hope will take away a lot of the pressure to complete it and stay on top of it, especially with a three-year-old and a seven-month-old puppy. So if you watch my product supply uh, video, you'll know the supplies I'm using, but I will make reference whenever I can. So I am using the Allie Edwards two-inch um, binder from her store and the December main kit. And then the two collections I'm using are this Die Cuts with a View, Dear Santa, and then Jingle All the Way by Simple Stories. So my opening page is on that specialty page that has the gold foiled stars. And I simply cut the 2020 one on a gold metallic paper, and then this glittery gold paper from Printworks, and then um, put a chipboard from the Ally Edwards um, December main kit. So um, I haven't done my reason why. I will. That will get done. And then we'll get started. Um, and nothing's really embellished too, but I have everything ready to go on my desk. So that'll be here. So I know my first story, I'm going to be showing a picture of my tree. And this will kind of go outside the page protector like this in a fashion. And then I made a little bit of a flip book with this cut file. So my journaling will go there. And then I will stamp or use my alpha die cut and put like it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas on there and have this on the kind of edge of the photo. So I do like the way that will look when I tell that story. I just have some of the journaling cards slash uh, filler cards here with page protectors so that I know I want to use them. This was an idea from Allie Edwards. She made like a little accordion tag book using the tag wood veneers that were white from the main kit. And I used a piece of pattern paper from Dear Santa for both sides and then adhered a three by four card and then cut the corner so that it all looks together. And I will garnish this with some ribbon and this will get attached somehow, I think on this paper or I could add it at any other time and just make a little pocket for this to be in. So that's there ready to go. This is all paper from the Simple Stories collection. I made a little bit of an interactive flap here for pictures and journaling. And it's also a pocket, so a tag or the photo can go back there, just as an interactive page. Um, I like the way these pattern paper and cards look together. So journaling, just love this mixed media card. I definitely want to use that. And I love this too, even though I live in Florida and there's palm trees everywhere, I can appreciate the illustration that this is. And I definitely want to include it for a story. This is also from Allie Edwards. This was my favorite pattern paper from the Jingle All the Way. And I couldn't figure out how I was going to use it to be gorgeous in my book. And I remembered I always include an envelope so I made it with my We Are Memory Keepers um, envelope punch board, put a piece of acetate that has this polka dot so that I didn't have to poke holes in the envelope, put a little Velcro tab, and then these are leatherette pieces from the Allie Edwards kit. I think I'm going to use the gray one, but there is also a green one that looks really good on this, as well as the red one, which looks really good on this. So one of them will grace that along with the number that will hold this story. And it's so easy. And the inside, so you can see like little peppermints. So just love that. Christmas is not always great. And I love the idea. Ali Edward just sucked this in so that it will be hole punched. Um, that it's not always merry and bright. And that's okay. Maybe one day when it's when <laughs> I always say when mom life happens, things go wrong. This was from product play class. It was supposed to open to show journaling and a photo, but I just adhered it down. I will still grace that in the center and it will be a pocket to tell a story. Maybe some tags with um, Miguel, I, and McValentina's photo, and then what we're into. This number eight will soon look like a, a snowman. I will put ribbon on it and a top hat. It reminded me of an ornament that I saw at my, not Michael's, it was Walmart, with two like wreaths that they made into a snowman. And another young lady named Stephanie, I'm forgetting her last name, also um, made it into a snowman. So I'm loving that idea. So this will somehow grace number eight story. I just have a flip out ready to go in this page protector. Whenever we see Santa, I haven't adhered it yet. Um, this cut file is just from Silhouette Design Store. I did use some fun foam and pop up his mustache, the brim of the hat, and the pom-pom for his head. And it is on 
if you can see, yeah, the glittery white paper, and I did get it dirty already. I had a gluey finger when I was coloring in the eyes because I forgot to. I might you know, grease it with a little bit of glitter, but it is on glitter, white glitter paper that's iridescent. So if we see Santa and when we see Santa, this will adorn that story. Um, I did, I, I thought about including those six little tiny envelopes for a story again for what I'm grateful for. I have the two by two pocket page ready to go. I thought about doing like 10 things I'm loving on one side and then maybe the day in a life in the other so that it utilizes the two by two squares really well. This was a cut file from Paige Evans and it was a star cut file that I used on just red cardstock and then the cut up like window glass window look was Paige Evans and I just cut it in half and made it into a page so that will tell a nice story. Just want to use the green cards together. This was Paige Evans cut file as well. I used it last year but I graced it now with um, pattern paper that looks like alcohol ink. Um, it's from Michaels so it just looks like alcohol ink and then I still like many did the product play class and used uh, modeling paste Mommy. and my star stencil with Mommy. it. Yes, my love. I want to go. Okay, and then my next page is actually a divider from a old happy planner. I just love that it's gold foiled, so I cut off the arc system and punched new holes, and I love that the tab says December already. The back, I have a page Evans cut file ready to go. It's paper clipped here, so it will get backed on pattern paper, perhaps a photo there. And then I have this little half page flip out to add more photos if necessary for a story or to add to that one. These craft pockets came in the Allie Edwards main kit and this is a cut file from Silhouette's Design Studio. So I used that Dear Santa collection once again and cut this out. So I love the tabs for the top. I love that the pattern paper kind of um, has contrast when folded like this and that way I have plenty of journaling spots and or pictures as well in a tinier page <laughs> pocket to use and I do have two other ones so if I like this I can use it two more times. This was an inspiration from I think Amy Jo did it as a three by four like column or a three by eight column waterfall. I know also Crystal um, and Dante did it so it's just pattern paper and on a day that needs multiple stories, we have this flip up going on there. I can't. <laughs> Valentina's here. So these two pictures are from the Dear Santa Die Cuts with the View. And then these two are from the Jingle All the Way collection. And then this is not Christmas related. It's just black and white. Hence why the back has pan bears. <laughs> so probably a full page photo will go on this side um, when that story arises. I also have, just before I go too much further, my triangle um, cu cut, not cut file, um, design from the product play class from Allie Edwards as well. She used a lot of different pattern papers, but I thought it was perfect to tell the story of my red cup love from Starbucks. So I cut up all the Starbucks cups. I think I also, though, it got, was inspired. Who else did this? I want to say it was... I may be wrong, it might be Ashley Horton who did it with the Starbucks cups and I loved it because it'll tell the perfect story on my love for Starbucks and the holiday collection. I always get one and I'm actually sipping from the one I chose this year so I got a tumbler instead of a coffee mug um, and grace uh, my book. So that's another page ready to go. Then I have this card in here. You saw me this, you saw this on my supplies on acetate and it's blank inside so it will definitely hold a story probably Christmas Eve and then I have a page protector and then this was scrap lifted Maui stop 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 and then for page uh, day 25, I scrap lifted this from Amy Jo herself. I will try to leave the link to her foundation pages. She made a 25 with flip sequence, and I absolutely loved it. Now, she said that she got hers available at Michael's. It's on a roll, and I did see that there. But I went to the Dollar Tree, and there was a plush Christmas toy. So this was the back, this velvet, and the front was this flip sequence that went up and down. And so for a dollar, I bought the little plush pillow, cut it around the edge, and then used it to back my 25 as well. And I made it just flip from left to right. And I stinking love this. <laughs> so when she did it, and it was so true, she was like, you know, flip sequins are so popular right now with toys and stuff that one other 
thing can mark 2020 other than flip sequence. So um, I do have a process video for this. I'll probably post it after I post this one for you on how I did it. But this is just perfect for day 25. And look at all that, you know, and it just twinkles. Oh my God. So cute. So that's that. And then I have a flip page ready to go here. I actually might turn it into a double one and do the same on this side so that it opens like this. This is a card from the main kit. These are just filler cards that I knew how to score it because um, it's always good to fill the page. So for 25, I may um, have a double flip to house all the photos. And then there's just a few extra page protectors ready to go in the back as well. So I hope you have found some inspiration from my foundation pages as well. I hope that we all enjoy this December 2020. It should be <laughs> quite different, not just for me, but for everyone. And so that's what I hope everyone will remember is that everyone is in the same boat. OK, <laughs> things are canceled and it's not the same, but I'm sure that we will all do our best to find the Christmas slash holiday magic for our families and for our kids and still make this album look like it might be any other year <laughs> other than probably staying home a whole lot but I'm sure we'll all get creative I'm excited I hope you're excited because I'm totally excited and I will see you on my next video and there's my 2020 all ready to go all right everyone bye <laughs>